okay so suppose uh, what is the difference between struct and class struct and class are <laughs> basically structs are uh, a value type and class are reference type so if you create uh, two objects with with struct uh, right and you change the value with the one object and if you try to access the the same value with another object you will get the original value of whatever it is uh, the, so it is kind of uh, when you create object it creates another copy where in classes it is a reference type type uh, reference type so if you create i mean if you change the value with one object and if you try to access with another object the you will get the changed value with the whatever the change value you have done for with the object one so it's kind of referencing to the uh, address rather than creating a new copy okay what is singleton design pattern singleton is uh, singleton is usually uh, we use uh, whenever you know we uh let's say uh, api calling uh, right <laughs> so we don't want to create the uh, we don't need to create object every time instead we just create one time object and just with the class uh, singleton class name dot method and we uh, you know uh, use the function or use that use that property so uh, that is the singleton uh, pattern can we can we create singleton for uh, structure of uh singleton with the structure yes yes we can coming to coming back to my question is struct versus class right mm -hmm. so can we uh, can we uh, uh, can we do the inheritance in the structure no we cannot why uh because uh, for that we we need to because they are as they are value type uh, okay we need to if we, if we want to inherit something we we can use the protocol uh, mm -hmm. but we cannot inherit uh, one uh, struct or on the class to a structure okay can we uh, can we use d init method for a structure uh no i think d init is also not there for struct okay when we are creating a object of a class so <laughs> where it will allocate the memory it will allocate the memory into heap memory Okay, and in case of is enum and struct, in into stack. Why why we are allocating the heap memory to class and uh, and uh, we are allocating the struct uh, stack memory to heap. Sorry, stack memory to is value uh, type. Uh, because uh, usually the reference type are stored into into heap memory because they are using the reference of the memory address, right? Yeah. so it is it is uh, ideally stored into heap where in 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 uh, value types uh, we are making copy of it and uh, that's why it they are stored into stack so ideally uh, they are faster than than heap any other reason sorry any other reason mm. i'm not sure for any other reason i guess because inheritance is possible in class right yes right when you are creating a class so you can you then you need to create a object of that class but before that class you need to create the object of their their parent class right and then you need to allocate the memory to that class also okay right suppose that at that parent class also have a parent class right then there is a chain right right so at the compile time they, it is uh, impossible to predict the uh, memory size of the object right right because right. it is dynamic memory allocation right so uh, so uh, so that's why we are using heap for that okay 
because his stack has a limited memory. Right, right, agree, yes. Okay. Mm. What is differ? Uh, differ is, is uh, something like, you know, whenever you want to execute something at the, at the last, uh, I mean, you have uh, tons of lines of codes and you know you have if else condition or guard light condition etc but when you write differ it will be executed at the last and it will be definitely executed what is in out in out is uh, you know whenever in in the function right whatever the uh, input argument we accept uh, ideally they are they are static uh, so we cannot change its its value the in uh, within that uh, that uh, scope so if you want to change the uh, scope uh, within that uh, that argument we can you know prefix with in out and then we can it change its value right. okay. any idea about associated type uh honestly it's been uh, confusing uh, i i tried two three uh, four times uh, like from my end but it, it uh, let still i'll try to explain like when you are using the protocol uh, right you uh, uh, assign one property uh, with the with the associated key associated keyword or associated type keyword uh, okay so at that when you are declaring it uh, it, it it has uh, uh, you know it doesn't define the uh, what a data type or what 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 type of data type we are going to use that so it is kind of generic mm -hmm. Uh, and we, when we, uh, the confirming uh, uh, class or structure, uh, at that time it is different, like, you know, how it, it is going to use and uh, you can uh, write with type lies. So the something I know, but uh, still not sh that much confident in that. What is closure? Closures are <clears throat> kind of, uh, you can say functions only, but the uh, functions like, you know, uh, you can pass that uh, uh, entire function as, as as an argument of any another function, or you can get the uh, uh, you can get get the return value as the as the function. So that's, that's kind of self-contained uh, block of code uh, as per the definition. But yeah, they are kind of functions only. So you can pass it or you can get it as a return. So closer is a value type or reference type? Uh, definitely, it is a reference type. Okay. What is escaping closer? Escaping is something whenever you are any operation, you know, it's going to take time for that. At that time, we are using uh, at the rate escaping keyword. Uh, suppose you are calling API, so at that time we write. So what happens in escaping closure, like in whatever function you have passed that, the function will return first and then closure will be executed whenever you get the API response or something like that, uh, a heavy operation or time taking operation. So first function will return and then the closure will be executed and you will get the value. So that is escaping closure. Okay. What is auto closure? Auto closure. Uh, I remember. Not sure. Then we are passing any expression as a parent. Like, uh, so passing any expression as a parameter right so right. for the for that expression it will uh, automatically create the the, the the closer right so okay this type of thing is called uh, auto auto closer you will get a better idea where when you will uh, read it in the script right? uh yes yes it's it's uh, again it's sometimes you know, it confuses me for that uh that term uh, that's that uh, you need to uh, pass A plus B. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, means uh, uh, this is some type, such type of closer where you will get the uh, two parameter A and B. Right. 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 And uh, then you will execute A, A, A plus B. So instead of uh, writing the big closer for that A, A, A and A comma B in and then uh, a plus, return a plus b the developers are just uh, using the expression format a plus b right 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 
ओके 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 गो दिस इज द ऑटो क्लोजर इट द क्लोजर विल बी जनरेटेड जनरेटेड ऑटोमेटिकली गॉट इट गॉट गॉट 